Hey, it's Rich. And Taylor. With Town Wine and Spirits. Hey, we are super excited. Next week is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is really one of my absolute favorite holidays. I just love family, football. All right. But of course, it's all about the food. Whoa, whoa, whoa. it's all about the food? And the wine. Okay, well, thank you. yeah, it's about on. It's yeah. about both. It's certainly about both. So, of course, just to kind of, I think, um, do a quick uh, little video here, we decided to figure out what would be a good pairing, right? Yes. For turkey dinner. Absolutely. As, we, as you can see, we have some turkey dinner um, waiting for us on Thanksgiving. Which I cannot wait to eat. So the great thing is one of our colleagues picked out four wines. I think the idea here was really to pick two that would be ideally paired with turkey. Some and really good, yeah, something that really complements the food. Correct. Or, yes. And then two that might not necessarily be considered a good match. Things that are, might be maybe more challenging with the Thanksgiving dinner. So the beauty here is like typically what what would you recommend so, for turkey dinner? Sure. I'm gonna start to pour it. So uh, typically we would assume for white wines, uh, we'd be looking at something in like the Riesling family or Chardonnay, uh, French Chardonnay especially, something from Alsace, things that have good fruit to them. On the reds, we would do something either Pinot Noir, very pretty, um, very open, uh, or something a little bit denser, richer, like Zinfandel, something like that. We did two whites, two so reds. Pour both so we can kind of go back and forth and see what's right. Cheers. I have them both uh, sitting here. I should keep them in order so I know exactly how they are on the table. We know nothing about these. We know nothing about them at great. all. We don't know what they are. We don't know the varietals. We don't know the price points. We know they're white wine. And we know one well, supposedly yeah. is going to go with turkey and one is going to be more difficult. But we'll actually see if that's the truth, yeah. whether or not that's the case. Right, and, we so, want, and we wanted to take out the we wanted to take out biases out of this. So we wanted to do that's why we did them blind. So we don't know what they are. That's right. right. This is uh, it's pleasant. Yeah, it's got good fruit. Right, yeah, yeah, it's got good fruit. I kind of right, like I'm, that. I'm gonna have to take a little sip first. I think. Oh, I think I know what that is. Ooh, I like that you think too. you know what that is? No, I do not. I'm blind. Okay. <laughs> not a chance. I can know. Because I don't really know. <laughs> I'm really not sure. It's got it's good. Oh. It's fruity. It is. It's it's got some more. acidity. There's a touch. It seems like there's a touch of like salinity to it. Uh, I get that. Yeah. And then this is kind of bigger and riper. A little bit of creaminess there on the back end. All right. So let's see here. Which one potentially would be better? Okay. I don't. I I don't even know which ones you <laughs> thought. Were, I don't. I don't know which one was which. Oh, good. Um, I'm gonna eat some. I'm gonna get a little turkey. Yeah. So same here. Do you want gravy? Or are you doing gravy? We have after? gravy too. I don't know. Maybe I might take a little bite first. Um, let's see here. Then I don't know. It seems with the turkey, it thins this out a little bit. It does. Yeah. There's a little bit of that. Oh, I want to get a little bit of salt here. Oh, that's that's where the gravy will really come in. Maybe a little stuffing to really kind of you know kind of cap it off. I'm just gonna. Full. I'm, I'm just going full oh, dump. I like that. Do you you do everything? You did like your cranberry, your stuffing. You did it all one no, one I, bite. I, I I did a little bit of stuffing and cranberry. I didn't okay. go too too crazy. Okay. So I think the um, the salt again it kind of mutes it a little bit. It's not necessarily this. I hope this is not the one that's supposed to go with turkey because <laughs> there's something that just doesn't work about well, this. It's not awesome. I agree. It's 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 it's, it's lost off, its middle like, fruit a little bit. Yeah. Let me throw a little cranberry sauce on here. Ooh, you're going all out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to do a little cranberry as well. Okay. The stuffing's pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I think to me naturally number two makes oh. a lot more sense. Yeah. Yep. That's definitely uh, compliments. The, the yeah, the other wine, the, the, the wine number one is very good. It's a well-made wine. We like it. Obviously, we buy it and sell it. I just think it loses something when it when it matches with the with the turkey dinner. Um, the the fruit oh. just complements this so much better. Let's see, what do we got? Of course, they really had to. So we we, we decided we're going to reveal both whites, um, and then we'll do the reds, and we'll we'll reveal both reds. Oh, okay. So Alsace, you yep. know, Meyer Fongenti. Okay, that's. So that's the one that we actually like. That yes, was the second one. So we are, So what we thought made sense. Yep. Uh, it had good fruitiness, good middle, good acidity. Um, so we thought that would work, and it did. Decoy Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, yeah. So that's Which the makes order sense. we drank them in. It's good wine. It's it's you know I think going the concept getting a little was, more California fruit maybe was going to help. Um, it's funny because immediately I figured it was a Sauvignon Blanc. And I figured amazing, it was Sauvignon Blanc too. Yeah. Um, but it's amazing how mm. the brightness, the, that kind of grapefruit that you get from Sauvignon Blanc, it kind of died with the turkey. It did. Feel. It did it not did. overwhelm. Which is, which makes a lot of sense. It, it reinforces what we generally tell yeah. people, is we generally like, no, Sauvignon Blanc is not a turkey wine. It's not a Thanksgiving dinner wine. This wine performed way better. Yeah. It made a lot more sense of the food. It uh, complemented everything really well. Both are good wines. Both are the same price. Yeah. This just ha added value to the dinner. That was very good. But this didn't.
Great. Cool. You ready to move on to the Reds? All right. So now we get some fresh glasses. All right. So now we're moving on to the Reds. Uh, again, we have the two here. So I want to start again left to now, right. Now, I'm right generally, I generally like, I generally prefer red wine um, with my turkey dinner. Uh, especially if you get a, a red that's got good fruit but has a savory side. It'll really work with the stuffing, yes. which I like. So I'm very excited for this part of it. Boy, I'm making oh, a mess. Oh, you're making here. a mess. Wow. All good. over our fine dining room table uh, that we're yeah, recording on. That's that's. It's sorry. a good thing that these are yours. Thank you, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That won't go well. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Light, fresh, good cherry. Mm -hmm. Definitely do that. All right. I got a feeling that would work well with turkey. So do I. Yeah. Oh, the, okay. there's no question that this is probably Cabernet <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. or some Bordeaux so, varietal. It's very big. It's ripe. Has a lot of wood on it. Mm -hmm. It's very berry. It's very good. It's got a really intriguing nose. So, it really invites you in. It is. It, it's so funny. I, this is almost like maybe too easy to some extent. Maybe. I'm assuming, again, this is some sort of like Pinot Noir or something like that where it's going to be a little bit softer, more tamed. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll it's see. Very, yeah. All right. That's All right. good. Let's get some cranberries, let's get some stuffing. I like that. Potato. So, truth be told, it is really nice to be able to eat and drink while we're at work. <laughs> I know. There's amazing. something really it's good like... about this. I'm a little underwhelmed. I don't know. To me, and maybe it's just that I find the, the wine to be maybe a little light. It's a little lean. So, I agree. I think, you know, again, because it feels to be like slightly softer. Um... See, I don't find it soft. I find it light. I don't see it soft. To me, it seems a little firmer, especially when I taste it with okay. the food. It like leans out a little bit. It, it sort of lacks that sort of that round, softer, richer That's feel. An interesting, yeah. Not rich. There's nothing rich about this wine, but um, it's not. It, it it tones it down from feeling open and expressive. Yes. It sort of tones it down a little bit. So it's interesting because I do think, well, it doesn't. It's is it being muted or not overpowering part of the meal? I don't is that think. Where it's I, like I don't think it. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure that it's. We're having a, a, a negative impact yeah. on the food or the wine. Um, it's just lacking a little bit. The wine just seems a little, mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Now, I'm, I'm not sure the other wine's gonna work any better, but. Let's find out. Yeah. For this, I'm definitely getting a little bit of everything in this in this mix here. You know? So the way that, just so you know, um, my grandmother would be very disappointed in the way that you uh, cut your food. Why is that? I don't know. She, oh, because? Because you hold it the way you hold it. Grandma, sorry. Yeah, I don't, she'll, she'll forgive the, you. Um, she'll forgive I'm you. I'm not the proper, you know, um, she was very English. proper English. Mm. Yes. Sorry, I didn't have. I didn't have. I, was, I never got invited to dinner with the queen. Getting back to this, the f all that sort of richness on the fruit that we tasted initially is not gone, but it's really muted and it's very tannic. You're really accenting onto that sort of the tannin, the firmness of the wine. Yep. It leans it out too much. I might be a white wine guy with turkey now. I think I've been failing this whole time. Because that house sauce was dynamite. That was dynamite. Yeah. That really was. It's interesting because I, I really like the cab. Um, oh, again, I'm assuming it's a cab. Assuming. <laughs> interesting. Oh. So, so this is uh, Armand Heights, which is a producer from Burgundy. Um, and this is actually their, is this their Folle Sauvage? Uh, yes. So Folle Sauvage, which is going to be a blend of Pinot Noir and um, Gamay. Gamay. Yeah. Okay, so I was right with the Pinot at least. Yep, you were yeah, nailed it. Absolutely. The nose is really nice on it. Mm -hmm. It just seemed a little it, it seemed a, a touch muted. Like there wasn't muted. I, there might no, not I don't be know a, if it needs a little more time to open up or something like that. Possibly. See, I thought this definitely was better with the it, turkey. It helped to not overpower kind of where the turkey definitely is. Didn't do that. And I think that was kind of to me. And it also didn't necessarily mute the wine either. Even though this might not be my number one choice for turkey, it's good wine, it's well it made. Is. Okay, um, so let's see here, and then we got the last one here. <laughs> Hold it's on. fine. It's fine. To, Do it. Just to. roll with it. It's good. No, there's like, and oh, this one is the Banshee Cabernet. Okay. So we knew it was Cabernet. At least. We, we knew I, it I was Cabernet. That. It was yeah, very obvious like that that was Cabernet. There's no question. Sure. But it's um, it's it's amazing. I, I I think I think it almost holds true. This the Cabernet becomes like it, again, it's delicious. It's rich. It's got like that. There's definitely some oak on this uh, for sure, but it's amazing. It just slightly overpowers. Yes, the, this. the turkey. Like, but I think also a flame in, in, or like a, you know, in a reverse sense, though, the food also sort of strips out a little bit of the uh, of the fruit of the wine. Yeah. So you just it, it, it leans it out a little bit. 
Yeah, this is definitely, this is good, but it's definitely a wine for people that want big, full, rich, oaky woods. That's, you know, if you want that style, it's really well it's, made. It's yeah. not the best compliment, which no. is so perfect. That's why we're here doing and, this. And, and um, we, ne we normally would tell people, I normally tell people that Bordeaux varietals, are, Sauvignon Blanc, Merlot, Cabernet, are just not varietals that work with the, with the Thanksgiving dinner. And I, I agree. Think, and I'm not saying this proves it because our sample size is very limited. Um, Four. It's a very small sample size, but I, I think that I, I, in this, I think we have a winner, though. I think we do. The num <laughs> this is this is spectacular with the food. That's it really clearly a winner. I think clearly a winner. Absolutely. But no, this was actually a lot of fun, and this I, I cool. can say at least we got a little bit of our, our uh, pre Thanksgiving pre Thanksgiving um, mix in. I'm super excited. I am very um, excited for Thanksgiving. I love turkey. I love wine and all. Well, yeah. So there's that. Of course. I like. I like. Well, so so actually, cheese. you you bring up a very interesting point in. Well, you didn't, but you I did. led to a point oh, that good. I like. I, I like which this. Is, we have four wines, but like these are two wines that are perfect, in a sense, for cocktailing either before or during, or you know, like you're hanging out watching football. You you know, this has got it's very satisfying. It's like it's like comfort food in a sense. Uh, it's really well made. You can drink it anytime. You don't need it. It doesn't need food. It's so funny, actually. You know what? Both would be great cocktailing. Like, yes. Both yeah. Both could be absolutely Definitely. dynamite with yeah. a little bit of that. Um, I don't know, cured meats or mm. a little bit more of that. I think uh, the cheese, cheese like, definitely. Oh, oh yeah, like because you, you're a big blue guy. I love it. I love and so blue like cheese. this is gonna stand up nicely to that. Oh, that would hold yeah, really absolutely. Well. But even then, this a little bit more of like a manchego or a cheddar or something that could easily be delicious mm. with that or a little prosciutto. I, I feel like, you. I feel what you're feeling. You're feeling it. I feel like you're it. Great. Yeah, you coming over? <laughs> I might be coming over. We might be skipping our plans. <laughs> so. But you need awesome. twice. You have my house, then your house. What time is dinner at your house? Anyways, this uh, is great. Uh, yeah. This is a lot of fun to ultimately see kind of like what we recommend versus what, what we, we don't do. recommend. <laughs> yeah. Thanks uh, for joining us today. I hope you uh, enjoyed it or got a little bit of insight into the proper pairing. And if you did, like and subscribe, please. Thank you.